Get your license need saving Do the wise thing Call Wise Man Lawyers Get your license need saving Do the wise thing Call Wise Man Lawyers Don't face that court alone Let the Wise Man team get you back on the road Does your license need saving Do the wise thing Call the Wise Man team at Wise Man Today I'm at Toowoomba Magistrates Court. Client uh, received a six-month demerit point suspension from Queensland Transport uh, and engaged us to apply for what's called a special hardship licence. So just going back a step, uh, he ran out of points. Uh, he received a letter from Queensland Transport asking him to choose between a three-month suspension and what's called a 12-month good driving behaviour period. He elected the good driving behaviour period, which is basically a bonus two points for 12 months. The way that works is if you can go 12 months without losing those two points, that'll be the end of it. You'll just continue on as if you'd never lost your licence. Uh, but if you do lose those two points, you'll then get a six-month uh, suspension letter, sometimes longer depending on your history. And that's when you give us a call and we can apply for what's called a special hardship licence. Uh, to be eligible to apply for a special hardship licence, you can't have lost your licence for any reason in the last five years. Uh, that was the case for my client. Uh, so I was engaged to apply accordingly. Um, the suspension started several months ago. He rang us before the suspension started. I drafted uh, lengthy affidavit materials. He was a self-employed truck driver. Uh, where you're self-employed, you've got to go into detailed, uh, uh, you know, you've got to go into quite a bit of detail about the profit and loss of the business. If you're employed, you get a second affidavit that I draft from your employer, speaking of the consequences of a loss of license. But if you're self-employed, uh, there's quite a bit more detail that needs to be addressed and it's effectively like uh, doing your annual profit and loss and that needs to be embedded into the affidavit itself. Uh, I got him to do a reformatory course. Uh, it's about three hours course speaking about ray fatalities and you know drilling into people that if you continue on this path, uh, obviously terrible things can and do happen. Uh, I addressed what he learned at the course in the affidavit uh, and I spoke about what happened on the day in question. He actually breached the uh, good driving behaviour period twice, uh, but they were both one point breaches. So it was still a total of, the, well, I'll go back a step. The first one point didn't breach the order because you got two points, sorry, didn't breach the good driving behaviour period because you got two points, he got one, still had one spare. And the second uh, infringement actually breached the good behaviour period. But the magistrate still saw two speeding tickets and didn't like it. Uh, so you know, I was pretty hot on my feet today trying to persuade the magistrate that notwithstanding the fact that there was two infringements during the good driving behaviour period, my client was still notwithstanding a fit and proper person to be given one final chance. Uh, obviously, I referred heavily to the content of the affidavit materials, but I had to speak on my feet uh, quite a bit because, as I said, at this, as a starting point, the magistrate just wasn't buying it. In her mind, someone who gets two tickets in a good driving behaviour period isn't a fit and proper person, but I did refer extensively to his good traffic history to date, the fact that he's never been involved with the court uh, or anything like that, and that on balance, along with the fact that he'd done that course, uh, it would be appropriate in this instance to deem him a fit and proper person. The short version is, uh, despite the fact that I had to work uh, probably harder than usual to convince the magistrate, I was successful in convincing the magistrate that my client did deserve one final chance and that he was a fit and proper person to have a special hardship license. So the application was successful. Uh, he was granted permission to drive 24 hours a day, seven days a week for work purposes only during the six month suspension. So basically for work purposes, it's literally as if he hasn't lost his license. He can't do personal things uh, like taking wife out to dinner, etc. But at the end of the day, you need some punishment uh, and that's what his punishment is, no driving for uh, personal or social purposes, but for the sake of maintaining his livelihood, maintaining his business, maintaining his truck and not going uh, belly up financially, he is permitted to continue driving uh, so he can keep that income coming in. So short version is, client's obviously very happy. I'm Andrew Wiseman, thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Andrew Wiseman from Wiseman Lawyers, Queensland's only truly dedicated drug, alcohol and traffic events law firm. If you face loss of license, loss of vehicle imprisonment or anything in between at any court in Queensland, we can and will help you today. This is our specialty. This is all we do. 
give us a call, 1300 947 352. I'll look forward to helping you resolve your issue today. Don't face that court alone. Let the wise man team get you back on the road.